This is the Jocko Underground Podcast number 119. Sitting here with Echo Charles EC, you mentioned something to me. The temporal motivation theory. And when I started looking into what this is, I realized that it's an opportunity for us, you know, we, people, sure. to utilize time as a weapon, utilizing the temporal motivation theory. So doing some interweb research, Wikipedia. What's the deal with Wikipedia? Hmm. Marginal. Like, yeah. trust but verify, I think. Uh, yeah. It. It's yeah. a trust but verify scenario. Yeah. Kind of like the friend that kind of knows a lot about a lot, you know? Yeah. And you're like, but, oh, but what But they up? occasionally you know? just drop some rando yeah. stuff. You know? Yeah, maybe once in a while they'll grab some wrong info. I don't know. It's like, I think there's certain areas that you can faithfully kind of utilize uh, Wikipedia. Yeah. And something like this is pretty much in the zone of, yeah, no one's trying to out, no one's out there trying to confuse or propagandize temporal motivation theory. Yeah. If this was some political thing or something, then you got a whole nother situation you got to go through. Yeah. A lot of times about, if it's about people. Yeah. If it's about people, you're definitely. Yeah. There's might be some question marks sometimes, but it's a place to start, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. And look, we're not investing in temporal motivation theory with money. We're not making any claims. We're not putting this in a book. We're, we're, we're just discussing something. So here's what Wikipedia had to say. Temporal motivation theory is an integrative motivational theory developed by Piers Steele and Cornelius J. Koenig. The theory emphasizes time as a critical motivation factor. I totally agree with that. And you and I have talked about this before. If you, if it's a, if it's a, let's say it's a Tuesday, and I got a flight, and I got to leave the house at six for the flight. I get up, and dude, that workout's going to be good, fast, focused. Mm-hmm. I wake up on a Sunday. I don't have to be open. I don't have to be at open mat until ten. Yeah, that's five and a half hours from when I wake up. Yeah. Right, I got all kinds of time. Oh, yeah. I be stretching, mm-hmm. contemplating, maybe making a new playlist on. <laughs> The music app, right? There's yes. all kinds of things. The, the 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 time is not on my side in that case. So the temporal motivation theory formula can be applied to human behavior, procrastination, and goal setting. According to Lord Diefendorf, Schmidt, and Hall, the theory quote models the motivating power of approaching deadlines, arguing that the utility that the perceived utility of a given activity increases exponentially as the deadline nears. These and similar ideas have been applied to the per- pervasive phenomenon of procrastination, end quote. So as the deadline approaches, you're going to be more focused. Mm-hmm. Look, we all figured that. Well, when I was in like high school mm-hmm. and you had to study for something, you didn't study for it. You, the, the test is in two weeks. Yep. Right, you're not studying. There's 14 days in two weeks. You're not studying until day 13. Yeah. Then you're studying. Yep. Now, when I was in college, bro, I was was so freaking disciplined. Bro, I would have like a 20-page paper due in a month. Yeah. I would write like two pages a day for 10 days, have the whole thing done, edit it. Mm. I would be done with it. Yeah. Completely done. How old were you in college? Oh, I was 28, dude. I was 28, just, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. This yeah. is unfair. It's totally unfair. Anything yeah. past 25, that you're going to shift into that kind of mode yeah. for sure. I would yeah. hope so. Yeah, yeah. yeah one would hope <laughs> for sure. But 18, yeah, the, that's the whole, like this temporal motivation theory, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Yep. Is like the whole reason words like cramming mm, exist yeah. or whatever. There's a there's, whole there's a whole freaking verbiage around Oh, that. yeah. <laughs> whole community, <laughs> whole culture, if you will. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, 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 writing papers, like all that kind of stuff or whatever. Yeah. Actually, the classic one, I think, even with grown adults mm-hmm. is the, you know, how you're, you ever like, maybe on a weekend or whatever, spring clean, I don't know, whatever. You're like, oh, I'm going to clean up around here. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, I just, it's just time, right? And you, mm-hmm. you know, you clean up some stuff as you clean, like you, you see a hat you had, you know, let me put this hat on. You're <laughs> looking at, like you're doing all this stuff, but let somebody be coming over. Yeah. If somebody's coming over, you, I, man, my wife is like, I'm sure a lot of wives are like this too, but yeah, she's highly 
uh, susceptible to this temporal motivation theory when it comes to cleaning up when people are coming over. Yeah, She's like, yeah. freaking boom, boom. And here's the thing. It, it, actually, it actually works, works pretty yeah. good. You can clean up pretty solid when someone's coming over, you know. Yeah. But yeah, man, that's real. You can clean that's in real. seven minutes or seven hours. <laughs> Outcome looks the same <laughs> just about. Yes, sir. You know what yes. I mean? You're breaking. You find some old book that you once thought about reading. and mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know exactly what to do. with it. Another thing it says here. To see, and this is a good example, probably just kind of similar to what we just talked about, but to see how temporal motivation theory can be applied in an example, consider a student given one month to study for a final exam. The student is given two options, studying and socializing. The student enjoys socializing but needs to achieve a good grade. The reward of studying is not immediate. This is a key point. The reward of studying is not immediate. It's a month away. So since it's not immediate, Thus, at the beginning of the student study period, the motivation to study is lower than the motivation to socialize because you can get that reward from socialization, socializing immediately. Like, oh, we're going to party, meet this girl, like all these fun things are going to happen. You don't get any of that. You get no gratification from studying immediately within the next month. No, no gratification. However, as the study period diminishes from several weeks to several days, the motivation to study will surpass the motivation to socialize, which it does because now the person's cramming. They're not even going to skip that party now. Yeah. So this is a factual kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So what does it mean to us? I think there's a couple things. Number one, we talked about this with Kalipa too, uh, setting a timer, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Setting a timer on your workout definitely will will help the workout. Saying that you will get done by this certain time, even scheduling something. So like, hey, I'll be done. I'll be driving. I'll be doing this. I'll be leaving. I'll be whatever I'm doing. I'm going to get it done by this time. Yeah. That's very helpful. But that means you got to give yourself some kind of a reward too. Mm-hmm. If I do this, if I get it done by then, then I'll allow myself to do this other thing. You know, yeah. uh, I, I was on a flight. I wanted to watch some thing. What was it? I forget what I was going to. I wanted to watch something. Mm-hmm. I had, I had like, like a cross country flight, six hour flight. Right? Yeah. And I, was, I had some downloaded thing I wanted to watch. And I said, all right, I'll watch that as soon as I get done writing 4,000 words. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay. So that take took me three hours and 30 minutes or something, three hours and 40 minutes. Yeah. But I powered through it because I wanted to watch this thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, if I'd done it the other way around, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. who knows what watching one thing might have <laughs> led to. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but do. it's interesting. I was truly like writing fast. The normal a thousand words an hour. I was under my normal time, yeah. kind of pushing the pace a little bit, yeah. trying to get it done. Good stuff. Was the quality there? You got to edit stuff anyways, bro, when it comes to writing. Yeah. So let's get the words out. Yeah. And that's, you know what I'm saying? That's the risk you run regardless, right? The quality, like if you're yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. You're, when you're writing, you can't, you can't get too focused on the quality of your writing while you're writing. Um, the first phase of writing is making the clay. Oh, yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Look, That's when you're making the clay, you can't expect the clay to be perfect. Yeah. When you're building a house, your framing is not going to be perfect. It's just not. That's why you do finish work. You hone it. You uh, you yeah. edit it. Yeah. That's what you're doing when you're, you frame the house. You ever framed a house before? Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I helped my dad frame. Yeah. yeah. So when you're framing a house, it's rough. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah, it's pretty close. Like, it's in there. Yeah. But then when you're doing drywall... It gets closer, yeah. and then when you tape and mud the drywall, it gets perfect. That's funny how that 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 sequence is like kind of with all, everything, it's like a lot of a stuff. lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Does it do that? Do you do that with the video editing? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh really? Oh, hundred percent. Yep. And the CGI stuff too. Yeah. For it sure. starts kind of rough. Oh yeah, because I've seen like, you know, beeple. Bleeple. Ble- is it bleeple? I thought. The, yeah. the video. Uh, yeah, yeah. The digital video. artist. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes he'll post sort of the progression oh, of okay. something. Yeah, and yeah. so you'll see like a weird looking shape. Doesn't have much detail. So right. yeah, there's the draft. Yep. Yeah. You get the main motion and the mm. main this and the main that. Then you, yeah, yeah. Exactly right. That's interesting. So yeah, I would say most things have that. But setting a timer and then giving yourself some kind of reward to meet the time mm-hmm. is a very positive thing. And here's another thing I've been talking about lately with people is doing strategic things first. Mm-hmm. Doing the things that don't give you the immediate gratification. So, for instance, this is a good setup for life. You know there's something that you want to do that's going to give you immediate gratification? Yeah. What, what is that thing? Whether it's going to jiu-jitsu, whether it's eating, mm-hmm. right? Whether it's, well, those are two good ones, right? Yeah. Eating, going to jiu-jitsu, Maybe, yeah, let's just use those two. Look, I'm not going to go to jujitsu, 
until I get done writing. Or I'm not going to go to jiu-jitsu unless I already worked out. Mm. Or I'm definitely not going to eat until I've earned it by mm. lifting. Yeah. I mean, of course, with all due respect, I think a more uh, understandable, relatable one is I'm not going to like watch my favorite show that I got recorded or whatever, something like that. Oh, you don't see jujitsu as that much of a reward? I don't. I think sometimes jujitsu can be viewed as like one of those things you got to put in work, like part okay. of the work. Okay. But yeah, in your case, and actually after you stop competing mm-hmm. and stuff like that, it does become that what you're mm-hmm. saying for sure. But some people, if they're not into jujitsu necessarily, they might not. That might not land on them on a on a real yeah. level. You know? Yep. Watching something that's gonna allow your brain to be inactive and yeah. absorbing and like non-productive. Yeah. Non-taxing. It's gonna get like a. It's gonna get like. It's not a massage because a massage is beneficial. It's almost. It's almost like getting drunk. Like your mind's gonna get a break. It's gonna be able to do nothing. Yeah, that's yeah. what watching TV is. Yeah, it's essentially it's like watching Netflix is. Yeah, I mean, I guess for lack of a better term, it's like, and I think it does. It is beneficial to kind of categorize this in your own brain, where it's like there's like passive consumption and there's like active consumption. So like if you have something that's really like you, in your case, surfing, right? Mm-hmm. Surfing is like active con- consumption, mm-hmm. where it's like, bro, there's not. Sometimes when you're surfing and, you know, whether it be snowboarding, surfing, whatever, mm-hmm. something that you, you do, there is a, a development of skill in yeah. the whole process of yeah. it, like over time. But at the same time, you do it just because, man, just being in this moment, mm-hmm. like the immediate gratification is high level as well. You know, mm-hmm. so that's active consumption. Passive is like, yeah, you're watching Netflix or something mm-hmm. like where you're just laying there. And it's all coming into your eyes or even going on like a tour. You know how like people go on vacation and they go on like some tour on a tour mm-hmm. bus or a tour cruise or something yeah. like this that's passive as opposed to like oh i'm going on a hunting vacation or a freaking yeah. snowboarding vacation yeah or, you dude know, my just, my vacations don't ever feel like i'm cruising it's not passive <laughs> no, no no i feel like i'm gonna be doing more work yeah sometimes when i get done with a vacation i'm like yo i need a vacation I need to, uh, yeah yeah for sure <laughs> check so those are some good things but you doing this so regardless of what the what you use as sort of your reward maybe it's watching tv maybe it's eating That is a little excerpt of what we are doing on the Jocko Underground podcast. So if you want to continue to listen, go to jockounderground.com and subscribe. And we're doing this to mitigate our reliance on external platforms so we are not subject to their control. And we're doing it so we can give you more control, more interaction, more direct connections, better communications with us strengthen this legion of troopers that are in the game with us so thank you it's jockounderground.com it costs eight dollars and 18 cents a month and if you can't afford to support us we can still support you just email assistance at jockounderground.com and we'll get you taken care of until then we will see you mobilized underground